Hey, welcome to another Lack of Foresight unboxing. Uh, we're taking a look at the digital press kit files sent to us by 3D Breed Miniatures for their newest March to Hell Kickstarter. Uh, as you can see, I've printed uh, two different scales, 15mm and 28mm. There was also a Sherman included, but unfortunately I ran out of resin just as I was about to print it, so I'll have to take a look at that later. Let's take a closer look. So for those of us that play bolt action, I do occasionally myself, um, they do provide the models in 28mm. Uh, so here we have a selection of Germans and Americans, and in the back there was a uh, Pacific Jeep I printed and painted from their last Kickstarter, just to give you an idea what they'll look like print, uh, painted. Um, excusing my horrible paint job. <laughs> Uh, so you get a good selection of weapons and uh, poses in these guys with some frankly fantastic print quality. I'm not going to lie. These are actually quite gorgeously sculpted. And I am very much looking forward to getting some paint on these. Might actually get me back into playing bolt action on the regular, maybe even doing some channel videos now that I finally have some files I can easily get a hold of. Well, models, I should say with the files that I'll be getting with the Kickstarter. And then obviously, because we do play Flames of War for the most part on the channel here, so far at least, uh, we have printed the 15 millimeter. <clears throat> now these ones came uh, only as a pre-supported option, whereas the 28 millimeter came as both pre-supported and unsupported. I printed the 28 as uh, autom doing the supports myself, sorry. And then I printed the 15s, obviously, with the pre-supported, just to see how they both came out. And honestly, I think I might start doing the pre-supported more often. Uh, 3D Breed has done a fantastic job of setting up the pre-supports, uh, so that it'll work with pretty much any SLA printer. And then it's just a matter of printing them, which, for these guys, took less than two hours on my Mars Pro. And, yeah, they came out pretty good. That's two American, or sorry, an, an American and two German bases because I uh, miscounted when I was putting things in. Uh, now, I did have some slight issues when I was uh, taking them out. I accidentally dropped a few of them <laughs> and broke some of the weapons. Uh, but yeah. And then in behind here, I have, again, some painted examples of their previous Kickstarter. So we have the German mortar crew uh, on the left there. And then a Piat team and a British slash Canadian Bren team. Now, the Piat and the Mortar are all 3D breed, mini 3D breed miniatures, uh, but the Bren gun team, only I think the Gunner was a 3D breed. Oh, well, maybe I grabbed the wrong one. I do have a few where the, uh, the, gun, the, the machine gunner is uh, a March to Hell model, and the rest of it are official uh, Battlefront models. I can't actually remember which ones are which, because I think I grabbed one that is all official Battlefront. Sorry, guys. Uh, but yeah, again, that's just a, a look at how they'll look painted. And as you can see, they are almost a complete match. Uh, I, again, I honestly, I'm not joking, I can't really tell the difference. But uh, yeah, so that is the March to Hell, Europe in Flames, I think they're calling it kickstarter that they have up currently um it's done by 3d breed miniatures and if you are a fan of 3d printing of world war ii or of you know just beautiful models quite frankly definitely suggest you go and take a look at that kickstarter i'll put a link in the description below and yeah no just make sure you check it out and uh, hopefully we'll have these painted up and on the channel soon well thank you so much for watching guys Keep sticks on the ice.